What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. We got two zombies videos on tap for today, so hopefully you guys are interested and excited for those. But in this one, we're talking a little bit about something that may have actually leaked out in terms of some information for DLC 5 Zombies Chronicles, which I'm actually kind of surprised that it didn't leak out a little bit earlier than this here because we're well one day away from the official live stream of seeing more information given to us, maps being shown by YouTubers, things like that. So I'm kind of surprised that it held off until the last 24 hours or so in terms of when this information came out so I guess kudos to where kudos should be given in terms of keeping things under wrap here but this comes from the reddit community and somebody that is supposedly a play tester for Activision and got to play Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles a little bit early I don't know the time frame exactly of when this goes it's probably at this point a couple of months back now because it was still whenever it was in the quality assurance departments and people were play testing it giving their feedback on it so this is all from his remembrance of it and I guess with that said should be taken with a grain of salt he uploaded an image of a t-shirt that he got as a reward here that was a black ops 3 logo with playtest.activision.com which does match up with some of the loot that they give you here in terms of playtesting stuff for that so that was his air quote proof on it but supposedly he messaged the moderators of the subreddit and gave more proof but with all that said it is once again something that should be taken with a grain of salt but let's talk a little bit about the maps in question he claims that he played Verrucked as well as Or each of the maps he gave a couple of specific bullet points in terms of information that he remembers some things that are the same some things that aren't the same and just basically information alike so firstly let's start out with Verrucked he said firstly that the winner's howl is gone and it is replaced by the Wonder Waff DG2 which is something that I don't know how exactly I feel with that one I enjoyed the winner's howl but it also in a lot of senses wasn't the greatest gun and DG2 is just a classic so I'm kind of up in the air on that one but he also said all wall buys are replaced with their BO3 gun equivalents so therefore the things from World at War and Black Ops are more so just replaced now with the Black Ops 3 weaponry on the wall. We'll touch more on that point in a little bit, but he also says that Mule Kick is now in Verrucked. They use the 1.0 model, so there are no Marines. The toilet musical Easter egg is still there. He said that he saw the PPSH in the box, or at least he thought he saw it in the box, but never actually got it for himself. He said the starting pistol was the normal Black Ops 3 MR6, which I know some people may be very upset about, because let's be honest, the M1911 is the classic Call of Duty Zombies weapon that I'm sure so many people really wanted to see return in Zombies Chronicles, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be the case at this moment. And then he finally said with Varrock that they added the death machine drop to the list of things that drop in terms of power-ups. Now jumping over to the origin side, he mentions that the staffs are back. He said that PhD was not present in the map and it was replaced with Widow's Wine. Once again, we'll touch more on that here in a second because I know that's a big hitting point for a lot of people. He said the Mauser and the special machine gun were returning in Origins, which is nice. The Mauser, the starting pistol, that was a nice little aesthetic here with Origins. I really enjoyed that back in the day. And presumably the special machine gun that he's mentioning is the MG-08 machine gun designated specifically for Origins. It's the one that Dempsey used in the trailer, and that thing was a powerhouse. That was probably my favorite weapon in Origins, so I'm super happy that that is returning, if that is in fact what he is mentioning with this bullet point. But he also said they decreased the price of the Pack-a-Punch door. It could be altered, but the map was still buggy at that point. He said wall guns are also replaced with the Black Ops 3 equivalents. The generators work slightly faster than before, which is nice because sometimes it did feel like they took a little bit too long. He said that the map around the jug generator is altered a little bit, and he said, once again, he's not sure about the PPSH, and he said the Tommy gun was present, but it might be cut, however, at this point in time, because once again, the playtest build was probably undergone a couple of months ago at this point, and he also says that the Panzer is returning. So that's the information that we got out of the playtester, but the stuff that I wanted to talk about a little bit further was the wall buys as well as PhD. So firstly, let's start with the wall buys. I'm a little bit bummed out, yes, that there's not gonna be any wall buys in terms of World at War and Black Ops 1 wall buys, but while I would love to see them, sometimes it does become something we need to think about in terms of a development process. To recreate all those gun models might have taken a little bit too much time. Maybe it put the project out of reach and when the target goal for release would be. Perhaps it messed around with that. We don't know the exact variables or anything like that, but sometimes it does fall in that category where it's just too much of a burden perhaps. And that makes it sound like it's a lot worse in terms of bringing them over. So I don't know if that's the exact wording that I want to use here for this, but it's something that sure to us as the fans is unfortunate. But when I also think about it a little bit more, I'd much rather have the Black Ops 3 weapons in the wall buys and things like that, other than say a month down the line, have these weapons that were newly ported into Black Ops 3 come to supply drops. I feel like 
like that would happen if they ended up doing that. But of course it is unfortunate, but from I guess a development standpoint, it does make a little bit of sense. But as for PhD not returning and being replaced by Widow's Wine, I think that this is, might be the ultimate disappointment in terms of things that we can be disappointed for. I don't think there's all that much in terms of Zombies Chronicles that we could be as a community collectively upset over. But this is something that it is a classic, something that a lot of people really were hoping for. And if this does stand true to be something that is legitimate and it is replaced by Widow's Wine, then, well, that is something that is, again, unfortunate. But from a development process, once again, how would we be able to do this? How would we be able to implement this even if it was added in? Because we have the slide in Black Ops 3, not Dolphin Dive like we saw back in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. But when that whole perk is contingent on that extra movement like that, how would it be introduced in terms of the slide feature? So I think that it is something that makes sense, but it is... Getting it confirmed now, still a little bit sour to the taste. But overall, when we take a look at all this stuff that has been confirmed, supposedly by this guy who playtested the game a couple of months back now, it is something that I'm even more so excited now to get my hands on these maps. And seeing the first one, Moon, is the first map that we get some gameplay of from YouTubers tomorrow, and we get more information from the Treyarch livestream. I'm super pumped to see this kind of stuff, and we're now just a little bit over a week away, so it's certainly going to be a good time here coming up in the next couple of days, next couple of weeks for Zombie. So I'm excited for it. Hopefully you guys are as well, but that's we're gonna wrap it up I want to let you guys know this information here for this And so that said I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below What do you guys think of the wall buys and PhD their fates within black ops 3 zombies chronicles? Are you guys upset? Do you guys approve of it? Whatever it may be feel free to drop your thoughts down there And of course if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like down below if you guys are new to the channel Make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding call of duty zombies chronicles And of course anything else relating to call of duty in terms of modern warfare master infinite warfare Call of Duty World War II, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected here outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.